Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the legendary Samsung Galaxy S2. Now we're going to take a look at how to remove the yellow triangle when you boot up the device. Uh, as you'll notice, if you rooted your device, you get a yellow triangle on boot up. We're also going to take a look at how to reset the binary flash counter so it doesn't look like it's been rooted. Now I'm just going to show you first of all, we're going to go into download mode. And that is volume down, power button and the home button all together simultaneously until the device switches on. There you go, so I'm just going to ignore the warning, press or paro. It says it's in Odin mode, binary flesh counter is yes, 48 counts, and binary current is custom. Now what that means is if a fault developed with this and I had to send it back to the manufacturer, they would know by looking at this mode that I've rooted it, I've flashed it up to 48 times. Was that 48 or 46? 46 times. And it's a custom, um, custom flash that I did. So... All, that will void the warranty and they won't do the work. So what we're going to be doing is essentially resetting all of those back to default. So it, does, it says no next to uh, custom binary download and when it says current binary it will say something like Samsung original or custom Samsung default something like that. So what we'll do just switch that back off now because that was just to show you and you'll also see the yellow triangle once that boots up as well. So that's now off and we'll just turn that back on. As you can see, you've got the yellow exclamation mark triangle. When it boots up, we'll be getting rid of that as well. All right, that's now on. So we'll just go in, go to the Play Store. As you've logged in, just do a search for triangle away, and it's the first one that pops up in the list. So it's square brackets root triangle away. Costs just shy two pounds, I think. All you do is download it, install it. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to do it again. But just to show you. And once you've got it, load it up. And I have there. And it says it needs root access. So obviously, if your phone's not rooted, this won't work. And it defeats the purpose, really. So grant yourself to have the access. And I'm going to say no thanks to that at the moment. And then what we'll do is we'll go down to where it says reset flash counter. And you can see there the current status shows that it's been flashed 46 times. So we'll do reset flash counter first. Continue to the message that comes online. Flash counter has been reset. Okay, brilliant. So that's taken me out of it. We'll just shut down the device and then we'll have a look at the flash counter first and then we'll boot it up to see if the yellow triangles disappeared as well. So once that's off, just volume down rocker, power button and the home button all together simultaneously and we'll get into download mode. So that's now off. There you go, it's vibrated. That's now off, so we'll just volume down rocker, power button and the home button together simultaneously. There you go. Ignore the warning or power button to go past it. And as you can see there, Odin mode says custom binary download no, which means I haven't modified it from the manufacturer's install. Current binary Samsung official. So that's how you reset the binary flash counter there. So we're just going to power it off and power it back on to see if the yellow triangle is also there or not. Right, that's now off. So just power it straight back on again and we'll see what it does. And you can see no yellow triangle there. Just the, the Samsung S2 logo. And then it boots up into the, the standard, should I say the modified boot up routine, but no yellow triangle as you saw in the, when we first booted it up there. And that's how easily you can reset the binary flash counter and get rid of the yellow triangle on boot up on the Samsung Galaxy S2. This was for mainly for people that requested it because they said it wasn't working. But there you go, that's how easily you can do it. And by the way, this is running Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button up top there. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and you can check out some of my forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and we'll see you next time.